Today, I wanna to see if we can navigate an entire adventure ride with just a watch. And because this video is sponsored by Competitive Cyclists, I got my hands on two Garmin smartwatches, the Instinct 2 Solar and the Forerunner 955 Solar to compare them and navigate through this whole crazy excursion. I've always wanted to do this. I think we're ready. Looks like we got a left coming up. This is gonna be very interesting. Oh, narrow. Oh, my watches are both yelling at me. Hopefully, I can do it with this. And we're back. Wait, okay, there's two. Okay, okay, there we go. The main difference between these two units is the Forerunner has full on loaded maps, which means you can see other roads, creeks, trails. It doesn't help with breathing though. Oh God. All of that's really helpful, especially if you wanna know if a separate road connects to the one you're riding on or not. Opposed to the Instinct, which only has a breadcrumb trail. It'll get you there, but you won't know exactly which road it's on. My watch sure is mad about something. Look, I know, we gotta go that way. But first, we gotta talk to Ron about his tuber. Look at Drew just basing out over here. I run a little hot, man, I run a little hot. Okay, my ride snack of choice. I was running a little late, and I figured, hey, let's do a Starby's Impossible Breakfast Sandwich. It's gonna taste great, it's already made. What could possibly go wrong? I wonder, is this classified as fast food? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. Classified as delicious. And cool about these watches is they pair up to different sensors. So if you have like a power meter or so, that's connected to the watch. Kind of cool. It's like a head unit with a heart rate monitor built into it. Hey, what's your, are you Prancer and you're Blitzen? Dude, I don't know. Oh my God. We have been looking for you for so long. You fucker. You goddamn fuck. Oh my God. Oh my God. The road just turned into the highway. What the actual fuck? The road has been altered, but the path is pretty much the same. It says we gotta go that way, which is now up here. It's a match burning good time. This left. This dirt road, I can see on the, on the Forerunner 950, it does connect. That's cool. Today I'm riding the Ibis Exe. 120 in the front, 100 in the back. This thing is a cross country trail masher. And man, does it feel good on this stuff. This thing likes to stay up late and get up early. <laughs> oh, you know, you get to watch us walk now. I was gonna give you a push. You had it. This is pretty interesting. So the Instinct 2 is just showing a straight line on the map which this is not a straight line. This is a chunk of single track that's wiggling all over the place. The Forerunner on the other hand shows much more of an accurate representation of what this trail is. And it gives me just a little bit more peace of mind. Whoa, stay on target. <laughs> How was that? That was cool. That's kind of hard. <laughs> I've seen some mountain bikers will mount their watches on their bars with some kind of mount. I think that's a pretty clever solution. Although, 
you lose the whole heart rate thing then, which may or may not matter. But you know, why not? Why not have it? Oh, and I gotta admit, having navigation on your wrist totally makes it feel like you're in the future. Data Force One to one, uh. <laughs> Very windy, very steep. Oh God. Nothing like a 2000 foot climb and 40 mile an hour wind to set your day just right. And then there was this. I need to left up here. One of the things that's in the cons category is it's a little hard to cycle through the menus on the watch when you're riding. Cause you kind of need two hands to do it. Oh, opposed to the head unit, which is just right there. Real easy. We've done 4,000 feet in 13 miles so far. What the hell? Ocho Grande, you are a painful mistress. And shout out to Competitive Cyclists for sponsoring this week's video. Use offer code DUSTIN15 for 15% off your first order to CompetitiveCyclist.com. I mean, where else are you going to get your fancy future watch where you can navigate to the nearest awesome adventure? Hmm? They've just terraformed this whole place and we can't tell exactly which way to go. It doesn't even matter what the watch says. We, we think it's this way. We're not sure, but we're, we're gonna try this way. Here we are. We're on course. Whoa. So we're good back here. This bike brings the liquid courage, for better or for worse. Ah, of course. So flowy. Whoa. Mountain Drew coming through. <laughs> All right, mission accomplished. <laughs> that one, always heftier than expected. And the ride by the numbers. From the trusty dual Garmin watch attack, three hours, 50 minutes, rolling time, 25.1 miles and 5,142 feet of elevation. Holy platinum. Okay, navigating a whole adventure route with just a watch, what do I think? If I had my druthers, I would personally choose a head unit on the bike plus a smartwatch for everyday life. If I was gonna do just one device and I needed it for navigation, I would definitely lean towards the Forerunner 955. It's got full maps, it just has more information, it's more robust, it would definitely be the way to go. I would probably look into those bar mount things so I could put this on my handlebars. It would just make navigating easier because you could slide through the screens easier. Although then you do lose the heart rate feature, which is part of the reason of having the thing because it's kind of an all-in-one, so, hmm. Everybody's use case is gonna be different. I hope all this information compiled helps you decide which direction you would go. And actually, what direction are you gonna go? Are you a head unit on the bike kind of person? Or are you uh, navigate with your wrist in the future? type of thing. I'll put links to both of these down below and you can uh, shuffle through the details if you so choose. Oh, and one last thing, check out this video where I compare all the best head units on the market right now and tell you which one I think is best for adventure cycling. It might surprise you, but you might already know.